Don't go mess around the old house. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who are we? We are two geeks on a couch. <laughs> Thanksgiving! It's Thanksgiving week. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Imperial Colonial Death Day! Yes, to celebrate Imperial Colonial Death Day, we are going to do the thing that everyone should do and watch the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's right. 1974? Four. Yeah, 1974. Directed yep. by Toby Hooper, our buddy yes. and pal, Toby Hooper. I have watched I, some bananas Toby Hooper in the past six months. Let me tell you. I I don't think... Ha, have we watched bananas no. Toby Hooper? No, we watched Poltergeist. Poltergeist? But off-channel, I watched Life Force, which is Toby Hooper, Space Vampires. <gasps> oh! That movie is amazing. And we should absolutely watch it for the channel. I didn't think we'd ever get to it, but now that I've seen it, we have to get to it. Okay, Space Vampires. With Patrick Stewart. No! No. <laughs> I need that in my life. Yeah, have you seen this movie before? This movie I have seen approximately once and it broke my brain within like five minutes. Like in the opening scene, which is iconic, I will say that I knew it was going to become one of my favorite horror films. And indeed, it did not let me down. It is now one of my top rotating five favorite horror films. Wow. Um, I have a lot of mixed internal feelings about this film. Interesting. I'm as, so excited to talk about as, this with you. As one, I think as one probably should have, but I mean, because it is a it is a complicated film. It it's is a complicated. Film. It's a it is a complicated one hour and twenty three minutes worth of horror film. Um, That's and an accurate I'm, statement. I'm really excited to see it again. Do you remember it being gory? Do I remember it being gory? Mm -hmm. I will say that I remember it being exceptionally visceral, but yes. I'm not sure that I would say gory. When I think of gory, I think of the green room. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I do I think it's gory? I'm not sure. Interestingly, a lot of people remember it being very gory, but there's actually very little to no blood in this entire movie. It's just that fucking intense. Right. That people remember it as being gory or super difficult to watch or, you know, like up there with the hardest of the hard slasher movies, which is another debate. Is this a slasher movie? Would you frame this film as a slasher film? I, I would and I have. When I referred to the slasher movies we needed to watch on this channel, I included this This was one, one of them. Yeah. This was one of them. It predates Halloween. You know, it's newer than Psycho, obviously. But in some research I did trying to like pregame for this conversation, the, the definition of slasher is kind of loosey-goosey. So it really uh -huh. is... I think it's just up to interpretation. I'd love to know what, what y'all think in the comments. Tell me, do you, do you consider this movie a slasher? I consider it a slasher because it involves a murderous person that is killing people typically very quickly with a weapon that is not a gun. Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. So that's why it falls into slasher for me. Some of the reasons I've heard for why it is not a slasher include they're not stalking anybody in this movie, mm -hmm. these these people end up at this house mm -hmm. and then are, you know, subsequently <laughs> chainsawed in the face or placed on hooks. No spoilers. But if you say, if you make that argument, then, then Psycho is not a slasher either. The main character ends up at the hotel. Norman Bates didn't stalk her. So I, again, it's just, it's just very loose. So I think it's just up to your own personal interpretation. So I was curious what you thought. Is this a slasher to you? Let me, I just want to reiterate, I've seen this film once. And I will say that when I, the first time that I was watching it, it did not easily for me fall into the slasher genre, but I completely understand why 
some people would put it there. I think that I have a better grip on why and how movies after this film are rooted, have like roots in this film. And which is not to say that I don't think that this film is like exceptionally somatically gripping. It is, it absolutely is. I was more terrified by the depictions of mental unrest and unwellness. Yeah. Anyways, I'm looking forward to, to seeing this again. Yeah. I'm excited to watch it with you. A film by Toby Hoover. To this day, this is one of the creepiest visuals and sound combinations. It really gets under my skin. Is this our, this is our first cannibalistic horror movie, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Forgot about that. Right. I totally forgot about that. Hey, fella, I'm gonna run off. I don't remember this scene. God. Ah. Speaking of uh, no country for old men. It's a great shot. It is. This guy's red flag city. Yeah. What are you doing? This, this is where I, as the driver, would have just been like, I'm pulling over. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is so just uncomfortable as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a fascinating characterization. Yes. <laughs> Talk about escalating quickly. Don't go mess around the old house. What potentially makes people crazy is the isolation of their community. Right, and they talk about how they were all laid off from their jobs because they were replaced by that gun. We got to get that barbecue out of your mouth. Yeah, it's gross. Don't like that. Oh, that's right. Sky spiders. I fucking can't. Thank you. Oh my God. Get rid of that. Sorry. My toddler does that. Wow. Lovely sunflowers though. Right? Those look like wild sunflowers. That's how you know that there's cannibals living in my house is that we plant sunflowers. <laughs> Oh my god. It's so shocking. Oh my god. This this shot is iconic and you'll see it parroted in other horror movies. That like low angle shot creeping up to the house. Nope, 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 nope. Straight up room of no. I know what's gonna happen, but I still want her to just get the fuck out of there. Right? He's picking her up. Fuck this. Oh. No. Oh my god. I think Franklin has an anxiety disorder. Toxic sibling relationships. These horrifying things have already happened in daylight. Now we're losing the light. Oh, fuck. Nope. 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 How can you just... Like, right. So many horrible things happening in this house. The hippies just keep coming. He's like, but I prepared. I filed my teeth for such an occasion. It's like, I appreciate how dark they let this get, you know? Like, this is dark. Mm -hmm. Not just thematically, like, it's, it's legit, like. Yeah. Oh my God, how did I forget about that part? He's just proactively going outside to see if there's any more. I want to like recut the trailer or something. Do a mashup? <laughs> oh my god, that'd be amazing. That'd be so good. Fuck my front door. Front doors are optional. That's way less great. It's really not great. 
I mean, this is where I'm like, stop screaming. You're giving away your location. This is also an exceptionally long chase scene. Right? It really is. Just keep going. No. No, no. Big old no. <laughs> You've been disarmed with a broom. And now I'm... That's unpleasant. Stop it. No. God, it's so awful. So fucked up. So fucked up. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I'm terrible. This is Texas. It's hot. There's lights making it hotter. They're worried about continuity. They let that food sit there for so long it stank like hell in that room. Nope. The horror of this is so well executed. Yeah. The hook and pull gang is a terrible turn of phrase. I don't like mm -hmm. it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so awful. It's so hard to watch. So. This is extremely satisfying. This guy gets. Bye. God, like, I really don't understand. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There we, oh there we are. There we are. <laughs> That movie is a ride. Yes. I think that one of the things I was trying to point to earlier in the night is say in Halloween, we understand some kind of young age. Michael Myers has some predilection towards murder. That's like what he wants to do with his time. Yes. Murder some people. But there's something, the word calculated comes up. So the, I feel like there are calculated murderers and villains this is not for me this does not feel calculated it feels totally chaotic in in the way that like i have no idea other than like they're going to kill her i have no idea what path they are going to take to right. do that right. and that is a part of the somatic like sense of total existential dread and terror that i experience in this film <sighs> There is a playful sense of sadistic antagonism that goes along, I'll put playful in quotations, with like the somatic torture that you don't know like how you're going to be tortured. You don't know how quick your own death is gonna be. Are you going to be sledgehammered? Are you going to be hooked? Are you gonna be frozen? Are you gonna be like eaten a limited time? Are you going hooked to be turned and then frozen? Right. Are you going to be turned into furniture? Maybe both. I mean, Are it's interesting, like, they talk a lot about the culture of the slaughterhouse early on mm -hmm. and what it's like to, you know, hit a cow with a hammer and the cow doesn't always die. They talk about how they use all the parts. They talk about all of these pieces of that industry. And then you see all of it turned on its head in this, like, really 
fucked up murderous cannibal house. It's a really great piece of writing in that, you know, it foreshadows somewhat innocently what you're going to see, but you have no idea that like those things could be perverted in such ways. Right. right? You don't know what you're in for hearing that in the beginning. Even if you realize that was foreshadowing, I don't, I don't know that you could guess what you were about to witness, right? No. Like, yeah. yeah. The way that those parallels are created in the film is really like, I mean, the word that comes up for me is like kind of ingenious. So tell me, so you'd said two things that, that I'm curious to hear more about is that as much as we were like, this is awful, this is brutal. You know, we both said at the start of this, this is one of our favorite horror movies. So I'm curious yeah. to hear more yeah. about that also as an addition to that. Or maybe perhaps as a, some context to that, you had said that you knew it was going to be one of your first, your favorite horror movies really early on in the movie. So I'd love to hear about. I think that one of the reasons it was so quickly one of my favorite horror films is because the directorial choices creatively in how the brutality of the movie is depicted is really, really bold. Within the framework of the horror genre, I feel like it set, set the stage in some ways for some really deep creative exploration of the genre itself. I think that there are any number of ways that you could have you could aesthetically depict what happened here. And you could have focused far more on making it more of a visually gory film in the way that I think is that is ha, is more familiarized or more ubiquitous or more normalized within the horror genre. What would you rate this film? The first words out of my mouth when I saw it for the first time were that was a perfect film. And I think that the thing that I have trouble with is you could definitely offer a socio-political critique of the treatment of differently abled people in this film, right? Like the depiction of Franklin has always really confused me. Like, and I was wondering if on second watch that would clear up for me. Like I was never really, we're never really allowed to know like the different ways in which Franklin is neuro or biodivergent and so sometimes his behavior i don't have enough context within the plot to understand yeah who he, who he is as a person yeah there's not and a lot of characterization around him there's not, not a lot really, of characterization around the, the youths at all actually. no there's not the, the actually the characterization in this film is focused on the murderers i mean we see a little bit of the dynamics between the youth, we see there's some tox toxicity happening between the brother and the sister. We see some anta antagonism on behalf of the sister's boyfriend towards right. Franklin. I mean, you don't, right? yeah, you don't really get that sense up we until that point because they're talking about this family house they're going to go see, and they, you know, clearly have some ties to this family, right? His father owns it. They had some sort of childhood memories there. It's unclear. It's There's a unclear. lot that's unclear about those dynamics and who these people are. And I also, I'm, I've always been sort of concerned around, you pulled a black man out of his car and then you left him. That's not great. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like he got away. Leatherface didn't chase him, I'm, but yeah, I'm it would have yeah, been I'm great to get him true. in that pickup truck. Too. But, but that dude is probably still running down that street in texas i hope he has found a safe haven and some therapy for himself from a like directorial creative pers perspective like this film gets gets my 10. i'm rating this movie high this is this is this is if not a 10 then very close mm -hmm. to being a 10. Uh, with some of the same critiques that you gave it about you know sort of lack of characterization around the youths and really murky messaging around Franklin character. Yes. And then his relationship with those other people. Yes. Um, it is funny to me, the, you know, the, the narrator, who I believe is John Larroquette, if I'm not mistaken, he says it's such an idyllic day. You're right. Like, there's nothing idyllic about this day. There's nothing idyllic about it. At all. And if there Zero was, you didn't, it's not on screen. No. It's bad from, from the outset. Yeah, they didn't even get their, like, swimming in the swimming hole scene. Like, they got they got nothing. It was all just a giant disappointment, and then they all died. Thanks for coming along on this exciting ride of a <sighs> film. Sounds like a good movie. 
with us. This classic horror film. I know I've been really excited to get this on the channel for a really long time. Me too. Um, if you like what we're doing, we're 35 horror movies into horror and some side questing into our quest to watch 113 horror movies over the next, you know, X many months. Give us a like, consider giving us a subscribe, come along for this journey. Yeah. It's going to be super fun. And if you really want to go deeper with us, if you want to check out our full movie, watch along reactions, extended conversations, Bonus deeper content. dives in the community. Yeah. Participate in voting on what we watch. Head on over to our Patreon. Link is in the subscription. And we'll see you next week. Until then, let me know in the comments. Would you do a virtual reality tour of this film? Let me know. I want to know. Till then, take care of yourselves. It was great to have you along.